Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about breakups for men, and the topic for this video is she keeps calling me. Sometimes the next will break up with you. She's like, you're no longer my boyfriend. I want you out of my life. And then she keeps reaching out. She comes into your life with calls and demands and pressure, and she really wants to stay connected with you. And so a little bit of connection, a little bit of friendship might be okay in your field. But sometimes this ex is going to be really invasive in your field. You know, she might text you multiple times. She's kind of using that connection because she doesn't really want to let it go. So a part of her is still attached to you prioritizing her. She lacks the idea to be important in your life. And she doesn't like the idea of you replacing her with somebody else. She doesn't like the idea of letting go of that. So the moment you start rebuilding your power, rebuilding your presence, suddenly you see her showing up more, wanting to be there with you, wanting to stay connected. And so the question, what do you do? The idea is very simple. You have to protect your space. If you feel that this presence of her in your life is not serving you, it's invasive, there is some form of dominance or control pattern behind that. She comes with requests, and when you don't comply, she sends emotional threats in your direction. Then it's important to realize that you can protect yourself, and so put a little bit of distance. And sometimes that might mean to tell her, stop contacting me. Stop calling me. I don't want to have contact with you. That can be a little bit extreme, but sometimes that's the way to go. Another way to go is if she's responding or sending you invitations, wanting to stay connected, you can delay it a little bit. You can be like, or not responding to the invitations. Hey, do you want to come? We are doing this with some friends. Everybody will be there. Why don't you come? You go like, mm, no, I already have something, not interested. Or she might invite you to, you know, to go on dates, to, to reconnect. As, as friends, right? It doesn't have to, to mean anything deeper. But even as friends, you can be like, um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm busy. I'm, I'm not really interested in, or I cannot see you this Saturday. Let's see if we can meet uh, next, next week. It doesn't have to be like that, okay? It doesn't have to be either one or the other. Sometimes you will be open for a certain period of time to see her interact, and then suddenly you are dating somebody else, and you go like, oh, I, I'm not really interested in maintaining that connection. So you can feel and it can evolve. The fact that you decide something one day doesn't mean that this decision is going to stay alive for the next months, three months, or the rest of your life. Sometimes the connection is going to open up and, and close. So there is flexibility in, uh, in that flow. And uh, the core idea here is that if she is a little bit invading your space, just set up a boundary and ask her not to contact you as often, or simply not respond, or you know, put a little bit of distance between, between the two of you.